So I wanted to go over all the skills that we have covered with our little cutie here. So we've got a spot that we can find all of his skills. So first off, I want to go over relax on a mat. This is our desensitization and counter conditioning exercise. So we want our little cutie here to go into increasingly relaxed body postures. You see he's in a, in a sit there and goes into a down. Then I want him to perfect, just like that, rest his little chin down on the, on the ground or on the mat here. That's perfect. So when his body language is telling him that everything is okay, it's fine to relax, then whatever stimulus is being introduced is going to be perceived in that same manner. So this is how we can introduce a stimulus that might get him overly anxious or excited and allow him to start to work through this. So if it's a garbage truck, something like that, a bicycle, kids, whatever gets him really excited, we would do relax on a mat at a distance to where he can remain in a down like this and um, ideally resting his little chin down and then start to move closer and closer to whatever the stimulus is. And same thing goes for sounds or anything like that. Um, you would just start with making the sound as quiet as possible and start to ratchet up the volume. So what I like to do is to Google a specific sound so that you can control the volume and then work up to more and more um, higher levels of sound. So next what I want to go over is our name games. So we really want to have an excellent name response. So Wrigley, I'll take a treat, drag it up towards my face. As soon as he makes eye contact, then I'll clicker that moment. The clicker pinpoints the moment he has completed his mission, done what we're looking for. Wrigley. Perfect. Now I'm going to take a treat, drag it out to the side, make a little distraction for him. Wrigley. He's got to come back and make eye contact, even though he's distracted by the treat. Lastly, I'm going to take a treat, toss it on the ground. Wrigley. And he's got to make a 180 degree turn back towards me. Sit. Good job, bud. Wrigley down. Good job, bud. Wrigley, stay. Free. So free is his release command. He has completed his mission. And um, right now we're dealing with about uh, 15... Uh, feet away from him and roughly um, 10 to 15 seconds. Um, he can go a little bit longer, but bearing on the side of having him, sh uh, shortening it up and having it so he can be successful is always preferred. So always make it a little bit shorter uh, in both distance and duration um, to where he can be successful if he has any breakdowns. So if he comes towards you, then you'll always just want to shorten that up, get a few repetitions, and then give it another shot after that, and kind of gauge and see who was at, where he's at. So you always want to stretch and make it more challenging, but give him the opportunity to be successful. Next, we're going to go over his anti-jumping exercise. Space. So space is the command, and we want him to give a little bubble around us, have him come towards us. Space. So you notice I did one from the front, one from the side. Wrigley, space, and one from behind. So we just want him to understand that regardless of where he is, he needs to be able to give us that space. Next, I'm going to put some treats in front of his face, leave it, and he can leave it, leave it. Perfect. So whether he's going after something or already have it in his mouth, um, we can tell him to leave it. Um, leave it. And he will make a more broad-based generalization and association the more items that you're able to work with. So we work with a few different items with our little cutie here. Leave it. So we've got stick, toy, treats. Um, so again, try to work with as many different things as you can. Wrigley, touch. So what we're looking for here is for him to target my hand with his nose. Let's go over here. Wrigley, touch. And we can just physically get him to go wherever we need him to go by putting our hand out and telling him to touch. And uh, we just want him to be able to position himself wherever we need for whatever the reasoning is uh, by telling him touch and having him target 
his nose to our hand. It's also the beginning of agility training, and uh, we'll get him started on that. So he's weaving inside and outside of poles, going up ramps, all that good stuff. It just starts with being able to target your hand. Rick, come. Good job. Um, so we've lastly got our simple uh, recall, and we can just toss a treat over our little cutie here. Ridley, come. And he is excellent on his recall, even when he is uh, playing with the pack. And one thing that, uh, the last thing I'll say before we get him leashed up, is sometimes he can be a little uh, snappy when he's taking treats out of your hand. And so if he does that, uh, you can tell him gentle. I'll show him the back of my hand, and once he uh, start licking your hand, showing you that he's, he's not going to snap at your hand, then you can turn your hand over. So you can say gentle. And here he starts being gentle, and then he takes it gently. He'll get in that mode. Whereas if I'm coming at him like this, um, that was pretty good. He's just more prone to snapping um, at your hand. So just an easy way to break that down. So from giving him a treat, gentle. Good. And that's, uh, that's perfect.